What's up? Welcome to more content you didn't subscribe to. So I just woke up like five minutes ago, barely had time to even take the dump when I heard of this guy, Victor Noir. Have you ever heard of him? You better have, because this guy's statue gets laid in one month more often than all of us combined in the past five years. Okay, fine, I may have exaggerated a little bit, but, but it's still outrageously unfair. The guy lived like 200 years ago. Who cares? And he wasn't even all that big during his lifetime. No, uh, Frank. Some French journalist from forever ago, so what? How's that gonna help you with women? I'm a YouTube star with over 200 subscribers, and even I don't see ladies lining up to rub against my privates. It's unfair. Victor fought for workers' rights, not a big deal either, on his place in history after an unfortunate end in 1870 during a political duel. That still doesn't explain why this guy's statue has been hogging all the action with the women. Legend has it that rubbing against a particular part of the statue can work miracles for fertility. You mean rubbing against that part of the statue? That's a penis. That's the statue's penis, just fucking say so, it's a penis. Women have been flocking to Noir's memorial, engaging in this somewhat unconventional ritual involving kissing the statue on the lips and rubbing against the statue's crotch, firmly believing it will increase their chances of conceiving. Yeah, I mean, that would explain why some certain areas on the statues shine like that. Damn, that guy's been busy keeping those uh, superstitious French women happy. Don't you agree? Some women even share stories of their successful pregnancies, attributing their joy to this offbeat tradition. Way to say they come down to fuck the statue, thinking it will help them become mothers. But whatever. What's next, ladies? Bathing in the blood of virgins to help fix those wrinkles? <laughs> it says that at some point in the past, the sex pilgrimage to rob against the statue's private parts got completely out of hand. They had to put a fence around it. And guess what? Little did it help. Those lustful gals tore the fence clean down like nothing could stand in the way of their quest to increase their fertility, you know? It's disgusting. Okay, I've, I've, I've heard enough. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. 